Hi, I'm Vanessa, and I'm here to reflect about Chapter 8's information processing theory, especially in regards to metacognition. Metacognition is really knowing about knowing. So it's like when we need to teach our students and guide our students on different methods and strategies, and, well, a little bit of self-discovery on their part to discover how they learn best and how they retain that knowledge the best. So, like I said, our job is to provide them with the tools and strategies in order to do this. First of all, when we present them with, uh, with strategies, um, a few good strategies would be uh, proper note-taking, concept maps, and uh, outlining. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about concept maps. This is a website called bubble.com in which uh, Dr. Professor Fazl also recommended that we use. Uh, this is, right here, is a little bit of my project, our brainstorming project on Vygotsky's social cognitive theories. Um, it's, it's a very good tool, especially for students that are maybe in middle school and higher, because um, it, it's a little complicated in working the tools and whatnot. But I would say for younger students, there is a Kidspiration program that you can buy, and they have a really great concept mapping uh, section of the software where they, students can not only just type, but there's an, an, a dictionary and a thesaurus that's inside Kidspiration, as well as they can attach pictures and photos in order to design their concepts and to link their ideas. Students need to know that they generally do their best work once their ideas are organized. So what I would do is I would have my students develop a portfolio for themselves, such as before we learn about these strategies, they show me work, and we, we put them into the portfolio. But once I've demonstrated strategies and reminded them to use these strategies and give them opportunity to use these strategies, then we can pick their current work and compare it with their old work. That way they can reflect on their improvements. Students generally, especially at a younger age, they can't really decipher exactly, um, well, they can't really rate their own progress unless it's like in front of them. So really um, using strategies like journals and portfolios can really help a student reflect about what they know and how they know it. Thank you so much and have a great day.